Hey everyone, Wyatt here from Winnipeg Historical Fencing Club. So this is a look at the stance, posture, and some basic footwork I teach in my longsword curriculum, as well as some drills and such for uh, students of mine that want to practice at home. Hope you enjoy. So your front foot is pointed towards your adversary. Your rear foot's at about a 45 degree angle or so. It should be about shoulder width apart, and about a pace apart in the other direction. And I want to lift the, the heel of my rear foot so my, my weight's on the ball of that foot. And you're gonna sink down a bit, bending the knees, keeping relaxed without exerting or straining yourself. Feel will have a little bit of bounce. I don't wanna to be too deep. I don't wanna to be too stiff. Just a nice, relaxed bend of the knees. Uh, your front foot, your front knee, should stay above that front foot. It shouldn't go too far forward, too far back, or side to side. Keep it hovering above, above that foot. And when you're doing English, it's probably almost straight up because we're going 50-50 weight for the most part in English. So half our weight's in the front foot, half our weight's in the back. For Italian, you're going a little more forward weighted, so about 60-70% of your weight on the front foot. And then you'll get a little more of your knee above the toes. But you shouldn't really need to go above that. You'll start straining your knees. So for your torso, your body, you're going to want your shoulders and your hips square to your opponent. This will change based on some of the guards we use, but for now we're going to go square to the opponent. And you're going to want your back nice and straight, nice and upright. So I'm 50-50 weighted, that should be nice and straight. I'm going forward weighted, I'll probably lean a bit forward, but I'm going to rotate at the hips. I don't want to bend my back, I'm just going to rotate my hips forward, keeping my back straight still. And that will get me a little more of that forward weighted that we see in Fiore. I'm also going to want to keep my shoulders back. So what I can do if my shoulders are forward, I just do a big arm circle like that, and that'll kind of get my shoulders back where I want them. So we have three turns of the foot. Our first one is a both a stabile, a stable turn, a turn in place. What we're going to do is we're going to go from forward weighted to rear weighted, shifting our weight from the front foot more to the back foot. We're going to pivot on the balls of our feet, and now our front foot will be the one with the heel raised. And when I do this, my shoulders and hips will make, if they're going straight forward, they'll make about a 135 degree turn. And doing this will basically put me uh, in a forward weighted position, with the opposite foot forward, in a 135 degree turn facing potentially a new enemy. Or I can do this turn, look over my left shoulder, and be rear weighted facing my enemy that's on the original line. Our next turn is called the mezza volta or the half turn. This is basically a regular pass or step. I'm just going from left foot forward to right foot forward. My posture, my stance, everything should be the same, just mirrored. And I can also pass back. Pass forward, pass back, I switch feet. That's the mezza volta. So mezza volta, I also want to make sure that I'm not bobbing. I don't want to be stepping up and down, bobbing up and down. I want to make sure that everything's nice and smooth and fluid with my step. I should have minimal motion upwards and downwards when I'm doing my mezza voltas. So the last of our turns is a tuta volta or the full turn. This is where one foot turns around the other. You're going to pivot on the ball of your foot. You can spin around 180. I can do a 90 degree turn, say my opponent's circling around me, I can do some minor adjustments, minor tuta voltas. So it's not really specified which direction or which foot, and it all kind of depends on what your opponent's doing and what you intend to do at the time as well. So now just looking at some drills, just doing a volta stabile, I can stand in place, just do volta stabiles stable turns every so often just change, change whichever puts forward and practice 
some voltage to build. Practicing mesovoltas. I can just do my passing mesovoltas. Spin a line. Do a few. Spin around with a two to volta if I want to. With my two to volta, I've got a few more options here. I can pivot around my front foot to my right, or pivot around my backside. Or I can use my back foot, pivot around that. I can add that with mesovoltas if I wanted to. Practice pivoting around those foots. I can just change the degree I want to pivot. And just play around. Don't get too dizzy. And the bigger your metuda volta, the more likely you are to fall. So the first of these drills is basically just mesovoltas and voltas stabiles. Uh, you're just changing the direction where you're stepping with the voltas stabil. You end up walking kind of a star shape, so I'm just calling this one the star drill. Next one, you're just going to walk in a line, uh, doing mesovoltas every now and then, doing a volta stabile, and then once you get to the end of your line, do a tuta volta, turn around, mesovoltas, volta stabiles, and you can change the order of things if you want, add more volta stabiles, but I'm just doing what I can uh, within my camera frame here. And this last is just a free-for-all. When you're comfortable with the footwork, just move around. Try to keep your posture as best you can. Try not to lose your balance. Do some tuta volta, some mesovoltas, volta stabils, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, just have fun with it. This is how I teach my uh, posture and my footwork, my stance, all that stuff. So uh, hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully you guys can learn a bit from it and uh, practice it at home. Thanks for watching.